Alrighty then. For those of you who listened to my last broadcast, I do appreciate y'all, but right now it's time for the girls. Once again, I'm Brian Reed bringing you St. Stephen's Spartans, Girls Lacrosse. They'll be playing against the Lake Travis Cavaliers. I remember their mascot there for just a moment. And in the net for this game is Zoe Schaefer. So you've listened to the last game, and I kept calling, referring to their nameless goaltender. This time I got it. Be Trinity Boyer on the face off, and it's taken by the Spartans. Number 17 just going to sprint to the goal, not even going to stop for a moment, then backs it up. On a push, it should remain with the Spartans. That was number 17, Whitney Ball. Ball will get to take a shot from the net. Doesn't get it. Another whistle being blown. Spartans have it. That's number 44, Sydney Goodman. I think it's Goodman because it actually cuts off of my uh, roster. So I'll just call her Sydney. Now behind, and then number 34, that's Bradley. Once again, cutting off the last name just a little bit here. Fought for on the out of bounds line and doesn't quite. Have it, so the Cavaliers will take over. The Cavs take it, trying to drive into the zone. They won't get it. At least I have nothing really to shoot at. So we're 30 for Lake Travis. Drives to the net, out in front, and they, they score. So the Cavaliers score early against the Spartans. It's now one to nothing. So there we go. And it'll be Spartans ball after an infraction. Taken by Trittany Boyer. Trinity takes it. Just gonna try to drive to the net real quick. And we're gonna go with it, pass it back out, whistle blown. She'll get a shot. In front, she scores. Spartans very quickly tie it up here. It's one to one.
So 1-1 one one now, Spartans against the Cavaliers as one again by Trinity. Takes in front of the net, spin moves, takes a shot, fires it a bit high, goes out of bounds. So they actually didn't put any ball back there, so now just go all the way back behind the net to grab it. Clock's going to continue to run. Cindy has it in front of the net. Now back behind the net. Passed out in front. Who wants it? Whistle blown. He'll go back to the Cavaliers. Got in front, tipped up, save made by Schaefer. So it'll be Cavaliers ball. Pass out in front, save made. It's Trinity, she takes it. Full head of steam, a sprint all the way to the other end of the field. Down front, number 17. He's got nowhere to go with it. Loses the ball. Whistle blown. As Whitney Ball will take it and gives it back over to number 44. That is Sydney Goodman. Is over to Bradley. Has it out in the wing. Tries to give it out in front. Grabbed by number 34. That's Bradley. Bradley Parhan is what my roster says, though. I'm not sure if it cuts off the last part of her name. Takes a shot, fires it wide, going towards the out of bounds. Losing momentum. They were going to pick it up and keep it in play. Back over to Goodman. Goodman being double teamed, nowhere to go with it. Whistle blown. Keeps the play going. I'm not sure what the whistles are for. And then I blew the whistle again. The Spartans have it, gives it over to Goodman. Goodman nowhere to go with it. I believe we played two halves instead of four quarters. Goodman gives it up top to 30. 30 loses the handle. Barton still have it. 
They've actually lost track of the ball for a minute there in front of the net and just wide. And it will be the Cavaliers' ball. One to one here. And there's about 15 minutes remaining here in the first half. Out in front of the net, save made by Schaefer. Still save made off the post that time. Still fought for in front of the net, and Schaefer able to pick it up. Good sequence there. It's a good, as there's good defense as Schaefer being kind of ganged up on right in front of the net. There's nowhere to go with it at all. I'm trying to just get rid of the ball. Finally does get rid of it. So you can hear the Spartan sideline cheering whenever anybody new gets the ball. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Front of the net and scores. Bounce that one in just under the stick of Schaefer. And it's now two to one, Cavaliers over Spartans. This timeout appears to be taken by the Spartans. They're going to discuss things here. And we're back after that timeout. Lake Travis in front, two to one over St. Stephen's. Spartans have it.
Ball just a little bit out of the reach of Mehdi Binsang. Binsang. And then taken back by St. Stevens. Ball's on the ground, picked up by Lake Travis. Passing it back behind the net. And trying to shoot it out in front, but unable to hook up on that one. Ball's knocked loose on the ground. Who wants it? And I think Travis will pick it up. Once again, trying to pass out in front, just out of the range of the stick. They have it, and they're going to re-clear this one out. Slowly, slowly learning there are different rules for girls lacrosse as opposed to boys lacrosse. So I'm learning that as I go. Out in front, shoots and scores. Ball's knocked away, knocked out of bounds by Trinity and be back to the Cavaliers. Takes it in front of the net, thinks taking a shot, will take a shot and save made by Schaefer. Good job there. Spartans looking for just a little bit of offense here, but they're not going to get it with that. As the pass was just a little bit out of the reach. Of number 40. Delaney. Just got that one. Takes in front of the net, fires it wide, out of bounds. We'll stay with the Spartans, right with the Cavaliers. Passed out in front, knocked away, picked up. Who wants this one? And it will be grabbed initially by Trinity and then taken back by Lake Travis. Takes a shot, save made by Schaefer. Schaefer, long pass, trying to hook up and 
Ball's on the turf, taken back by the Cavaliers. Really hadn't really gotten out of St. Stephen's zone in a long time. Kind of just knocked along the ground, finally put out of bounds. And he'll stay with the Spartans, whistle blown. So he's Spartans this ball after all that. Ball knocked down. Another whistle. It's like a whistle every few seconds in this game. Takes a shot. Ball's knocked away. Grabbed by the Cavaliers. Takes a shot in front of the net. She scores. Cavaliers add on to their lead. It's now four to one. Face off taken by Lake Travis. Give it in front of the net and shot wide. Once again, in front of the net, save made. Schaefer has it. Gonna pass just a little bit out of the reach. Spartans player. it behind the net back to the wing Our 30 has it tries to get it out in front takes a shot and the save was initially made by Schaefer but it was tipped into the net it's now five to one, Lake Travis.
Face off. One by Trinity. Tries to pass it in front. Tipped up behind the net. It'll be taken by Spartans. First time they've had the ball in their zone in a while. The ball just seems to keep getting just right out of their stick. And turned over after an out of bounds. Back to the Cavaliers. All on the ground. Kind of tipped in the air. Wants this one. Cavaliers have it. Long pass. It's number 13. Pass it in front. Takes a shot. Save made by Schaefer. Whistle's blown, but they're just going to keep playing. I'm not sure what all these whistles are about. I'll be honest with you. The Cavaliers have it. 340 left to play here in the half. As takes a shot, basically a little wraparound opportunity. And it's now 6-1 to one Cavaliers. So the Spartans ball, taking into the offensive zone. Punk can take herself, takes a shot. Whistle was blown. Shot goes wide. Three minutes to play in the half. And she'll get a shot right in front of the net. As it goes wide, picked up by the Spartans. Pass back out to the wing. The Goodman carries it into the top of the zone. So the pass goes in and out of the stick. Initially picked up by Lake Travis. Now fought for. Kind of kicked out. And then picked up by the Cavaliers. All on the turf. Picked up by Lake Travis. Two minutes, ten seconds left in the half. For Lake Travis has it. Pass it behind the net over the stick.
Less than a minute to play now. They're just kind of passing it around. Schaefer gets a stick on that one. Bounced in front. Schaefer able to grab hold of it. Pass goes wide, but it'll be grabbed by the Spartans. A lot of speed on that girl. She's going to carry it all the way across. She's got room. Front. He's taking a shot but loses the handle out. Ball's on the ground again. Whistle blown. And it'll be Cavaliers ball. As that will take us to the end of the first half. Cavaliers score five after the game has been was tied at one. Our score, Cavaliers one. Sorry, Cavaliers six, Spartans one. We will take a break. We'll be right back listening to St. Stephen's Girls of the Cross on the Vite Media Network.
as we are back at St. Stephen's. Because the girls lacrosse team is t trailing 6-1 to one, as now they will swap sides for the second half against the Cavaliers. Draw is going to be taken by the Cavaliers. Makes a shot in front of the net. Save made by Schaefer. We have to take a pass and be taken by Trinity. Passing around, Spartans looking just for a little bit of offense. Goodman has it and loses the handle on it, picks it up again. It's turned over. Lake Travis has it. They have numbers pass in front. As Shaver's going to come all the way out of the net. Pick that one up. Travis has it. Pass in front, shoots and scores. Much like a one time or opportunity. It's now seven to one, Lake Travis. Cavaliers win the draw right in front of the net, takes a shot and scores again. Very quickly, back to back. It's eight to one now, Cavaliers.
and it'll be turned over. It will be Spartans ball. Ball knocked away, picked up once again by Spartans. Whitney Ball has it. Spartans is looking for any kind of offense right now. Have not scored since the first half. Out in front is nowhere to go with it. He'll be turned over. That's it, kind of behind the net. Gets out in front, shoots and scores. It's like Travis continues to pour it on. Draw one initially by St. Stephen's. Can't quite pick it up, though. He'll fought for, knocked away, and picked up by the Cavaliers. So they'll take it. Just gonna take herself in front of the net, and she'll score. It's now 10 to 1. Face-off will be, the draw will be taken back by Lake Travis. Out in front, takes a shot, bounces it in there, scores. Less than 20 minutes now as Lake Travis has really opened it up here in the second. It was 6-1. to one. Now it's 11-1. to one.
the draw will be taken by the Cavaliers. I think they're going to call that one in the sphere. And they call kind of the head and shoulders area. No pads in girls lacrosse. What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. My camera went off there for just a moment. We'll get it right back as soon as we can. In the meantime, the Cavaliers have it. So I think we are back up and running. At least I sure hope so. I'm not sure if anything came unplugged. We are good to go. It's not really sure what happened there as Lake Travis scores again. 12 to 1 now. As now the clock will continue to run. Correction, 13 to 1. I thought it was 12 to 1, but scoreboard says 13. Okay. Draw is taken by the Cavaliers. Takes it out in front of the net, takes a shot, fires it wide. I think we have seen a flag throw on us. All the one ref had with a yellow laundry in her hand, however, was not thrown. The Cavaliers still have it. Pass it back behind the net. Spins around, shoots, and scores. Now it's 13 to 1. The scoreboard did change on me there.
Takes it in front of the net. Flag is thrown. They're going to call a penalty on that one. Penalty shot. This ball is knocked away. He'll stay with the Cavaliers. Passing around the net. Back behind it, looking for some place out in front. She finds it, gets in front of that, takes a shot. Save made by Schaefer. 13 minutes to play in the game. As the Spartans have it on the other end of the field. Shoots in front, trying to hook up in front of the net, just a little bit out of the reach of the stick. Pass was almost taken away. Pass net behind the net. He's out in front, takes a shot and scores. The Spartans find the back of the net for the first time since the first five minutes of this game. And it's now 13 to two. You can just hear the bench go crazy. And you just love to hear that. Draw is taken by Lake Travis. This time it's taken by the Spartans. Martin's looking for a bit more. And it's turned over, taken by the Cavaliers. Cavaliers have it. Spin move in front of the net, takes a shot and scores. A lot of moves there. And less than 10 minutes to play. The Cavs are up on the Spartans 14 to 2.
Draw is almost won by the Spartans. And he's taken by the Cavaliers, knocked away. Still batted up in the air and taken back by the Lake Travis. Cavaliers have it. Takes in front of the net and scores. Locked in between two players. Looks like Travis adds one more. It's 15 to two now. Six fifty five left to play in the game. Takes a shot and fires it just wide. I love about the St. Spartans, sorry about St. Stephen's, St. Spartans, the St. Stephen's benches, they're hooting and hollering over anything. They have not lost their spirit in this one. I like that as that pass goes out of bounds. Oof. Fall on the field and everyone appears to be okay. Have in front of the net and they score. You can hear him jumping up and down down there. They react to every goal like it's a game winning goal. I'd hear that spirit down there in the bench. Shoots it back behind the net. Back out in front, takes a shot and they score.
16 to three. Draws one by Lake Travis. As they have it, falls on the ground. They still get a penalty shot. Has it rather on the out of bounds marker? Less than two minutes to play. Ball's out. Picked up by the Cavaliers. Has it in the attacking zone. Long pass. Trying to get it back out in front and it'll be taken by the Spartans. Trying to give it out in front. Someone has takes a shot, fires it wide, and no one's there to pick up a potential rebound. Goalkeeper for Lake Travis has it. Good job getting in front of that one. But it'll be taken back by the Cavaliers. Ben moves, takes a shot, knocked away, picked up by, I was going to be Schaefer, but instead picked up by St. Stephen's. A less than a minute to play, 45 seconds, and the clock will continue to run. As Lake Travis will take this game by at least 16 to 3. As they're going to just, always just going to take it herself. Why not? Have some little fun with this one. Zoe takes the pass up top in front of the net, shoots off the off of the piping. The post, I should say. Couldn't get the word right. <laughs> As this one will end, it's 16 to 3. Our final. That's it. I'll get this little extra right here. Running all the way over to Zoe Schaefer, who had, I'll just say, just a slightly rough game down there. It was a rough, rough game for us all, but a little sprint at the very end, and then giving her all the praise for that rundown. I think, I think they thought she was going to try to take a shot. But she did not, and that's how this game will end. I think I'll do it from us here at St. Stephen's High School. I'd like to thank Randy once again for making sure that the broadcast sounds good, and I'd like to thank a parent for, like Travis actually, for helping me understand the rules of girls lacrosse just a little bit better. And for St. Stephen's for allowing me to do your games, I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope we get to do it again. And I'll do it from us here. My name is Brian Reed reminding you once again to please wash your hands. Please wear a mask. Please stay safe. I'll catch you.